Poppin' guys, it's your boy Crooks209, back at you guys with another video, and today we are doing part two of the Unranked 2 Division 20 using only four-star fighter challenge. So as you guys can see, we're in Division 8, we're at 1,393 points. Now if you guys compare this to the last video, uh, we were in Division 9, but because a new patch happened, it reset my settings, um, so it went back and reverted like the camera view and all that, so I quit it out of the the fight that I had originally recorded on here just to be able to switch the grappling assist and the camera view back to normal so that's why we're sitting at a uh, 1393 but either way we are fighting in featherweight and lightweight which are some of my favorite weight classes in the game hopefully we'll be able to use uh Cub Swanson in this in this uh series as well and ironically we get <laughs> A featherweight fight so we're instead of using cub this time we're gonna go with dan ige the fighter that just got added in this last patch uh we're gonna go ahead and take a look at his perks real, real quick here he has fast hands cars of wood uh me we ah, sorry weathering storms to your feet and pay to miss his punch speed is a 92 punch power is a 93 footwork is really good his switch stance is really low so we don't want to be uh we don't want to have to switch into southpaw or be fighting in southpaw too much the top control is looking okay. The takedowns are okay. They're decent, not the best. But that bottom control is is looking pretty bad, so we got to be careful. Uh, the body health is an 89, and the chin health is a 94, with the cardio being a 94. So overall, he really ironically, uh, uh, really, I would look at him in the same way that I do Cub Swanson. Cub Swanson has identical stats to Dan Ige in this game. Except for uh, Cub has the rubber guard, so that makes him a little more versatile off of his back. But stats-wise, they pretty much equal out, in my opinion. So as you guys can see, we are going up against a Max Holloway that is in Division 11 here. He has 1,543 points. So if we get this win, we're going to get a decent amount of points. So here we are. We've got Dan Mergliata right here. Let's get it cracking. I'm going to touch gloves here. We do not want to let Max Holloway pressure us here in this fight. So we're going to try to slip off. Try to use leg kicks to, to maintain his movement. He tries to leg kick us back right there. Oh, good, good body kick. Trying to play patient here. Leg kick whiffs right there. Hit him with a good two-piece. Nah, don't rush things here. You do not want to rush against Max Holloway, especially when you're a four-star. You got to kind of switch between being a counter fighter and then being in control then a good three piece right there double jab into a straight break his block down a little bit hits us with a good combo tries to pull counter us right there but that doesn't that ain't happening so you're trying to trying to back up trying to maintain the space but not backing up too much hits us with a good leg kick right there we turn it on the in on the intro right there double jab into a straight Good hook. Bam. Hit him up. Able to time him right there. Oh, he hits us with a good kick. Knocks us down right there. Got to be careful with Max Holloway because he does have stuff like that. We're able to roll him with the Kimura sweep right there. We're going to go for the arm bar here. See if this guy, how good this guy's joint sub defense is here. All right. Looks like it's pretty good. So we do not want to lose position right there. Oh, he's able to slip that straight punch right there. Good job on his part. So now we know he's he's going to throw that combination, so we, we need to be on the lookout for that off the oblique kick. So here, trying to maintain the space. He's inside the pocket, trying to get some good damage off, but we whiff right there. Tries to head kick us, but we return with a straight. He's able to slip out of the way of our straight right there. So here he's done a, a, a good amount of damage to us here, but we are still in this fight. We cannot give up here, even though we got knocked down. We're trying to pressure him just a little bit. Hit him with a good straight. He slipped off right there. That's the second time he's done that. So now we're going to try to faint, faint a jab into a hook at some point in the pocket. Trying to maintain the pressure here. Got that block down low. Hit him with a good four-piece. Bam, get a knockdown right there. Have him back up against the fence. His head health is draining. He's getting a little bit lower. We won that exchange right there. 
He whiffs right there. Got to take advantage of that. Ooh, wisely major lunges out of the corner right there. Hit him with a good hook right there. Ooh, we're just exchanging in this pocket. That's a hell of a way to end the first round right there. <clears throat> so in case you guys didn't know, I am doing live commentary on these fights. Uh, normally I commentate over it, but uh, we're doing live commentary. So you guys are getting exactly what I am seeing in this fight. <clears throat> so here we are, we're in round two. That head health is a little bit lower than ours, so we need to be aware of that when we get in exchanges and be aware of our own as well because Max Holloway has those move levels that will just put us out if we're not careful. Beautiful slip straight by him right there. Hit him with a good hook on his exit. Leg kick. Try to get him with a three-piece, but he backs out of the way of the uppercut, which would have done the most damage in that combo. Trying to exchange, but not do... Not exchange, exchange smartly if we can. Oh, good slip straight by him. Oh, we moved out of the way. Tried to uppercut him. That didn't work out. Well, this guy moves. This guy moves his head at random spots. It's never really like consistent. There it is. Got a rock off. Hit him with a good straight right there. Slip straight us. Oh, good three-punch combination. Knocks us down. Oh, and he's taunting us. All right. Better be able to back up that talk, boy. Whew. Oh, double uppercut again, yo. We're just going back and forth. Woo, caught him with the uppercut. Got the knockdown. Oh, we couldn't jump on him, though. Waiting to see if he throws anything like a like a front kick so we can minor step it. Get that punishment off. Tries to hit us with a jab straight uppercut, but only lands, and only lands it straight right there. Whoop. Oh. Oh, Danny gets rocked again. I'm surprised I didn't knock him down right there. Able to move off the line right there. Caught him with the head kick, but it didn't do a lot of damage because that straight didn't land. Oh, we tried to slip hook him right there. It didn't work out for us. Now both of our heads are blinking. Try to hit him with a front kick. That's not working out. Knock him down with a straight right there. And we got him pressed up against the cage. We're in the fight ending situation here. Are we going to be able to get the dub? Here with Dan Ige to start off the start off the video. Oh, we're not able to. He's able to block that last strike. Now he's able to get us back into his half guard here. We try to posture up. Trying to get it finished here. We do not want to be in here with Max Holloway anymore. But we're not able to get the finish right there. We blocked the transition to full guard. Posture back up. Oh, nope. He blocked it right there. Wait a second. Then we go for it again. Oh, he slips. This guy's got some pretty good uh, ground and pound defense there. That's the end of the second round. This is an absolutely amazing fight, man. I thought would have thought I would have been out after that double uppercut. But it's anybody's fight at this point. Uh, we both have low head health, so I need to be aware of that. He's starting most of his combinations off with a jab, so we're going to see if we can slip straight him. Uh, but his, his head health is a little bit lower than mine, so... That kind of works in our favor just a bit. Rock him. Get it. Knock him down right there. We're going to be able to get the finish. Got him out of there. Able to break his block and get the dub with Dan Ige. Whew. Hard fought W. And it's a hell of a way to start off the video. Getting a W over Max Holloway, which is one of the hardest fighters to get a W off. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump into the next fight. All right, guys, so here we are. We are in the second fight of the showcase, and we're using Michael the Menace Johnson against... We're going up against Max Holloway again, but this time in the lightweight division. Uh, now, Michael Johnson is actually a three-and-a-half star fighter, so we made this a little bit more challenging for this one. So we're going to try to get this dub against Max Holloway here in lightweight. We touched gloves here. 
and we are on the way. Get a good jab straight in right there. He switch kicks us to the body, but we're in the uh, opposite stance, so it's not going to do as much damage as if we were standing in orthodox. He goes with that spinning kick, but we're able to block it. Hits us with a good front kick right there. Need to be patient like we did uh, in the last fight with Dan Ige. Because Max Holloway still has the better stats here in this matchup. But Michael Johnson does have pretty good speed and does hit pretty hard. So he's catching us right here. So we need to retreat. Try to pop out a jab right there. Let's see if he throws something reckless. He does. But he lands right there. So we need to get on the inside of Max Holloway. Cannot play at distance with him. Especially with Michael Johnson. We get a beautiful rock right there off of a jab straight uppercut. Get him up against the fence. Work that body. Trying to keep him here. Not trying to let him circle off into space. Go body. Head. He blocks the head. Oop, hits us with that front kick but off of our block. Hits us with that good spinning back kick to the body. See here we're trying to maintain. Trying to maintain some pressure here. He's swinging off. He's not even really trying to... Trying to really set. He's just backing up. Hit him with a good... Hook straight head kick right there. Trying to maintain the pressure. Do the same hook straight head kick right there. Hit this with another beautiful back body kick. We're able to slip that. We're able to punish. But it didn't do too much damage to him. As much as I thought we should have gotten more damage off that. It's not what happened here. So here we're working. Trying to maintain the space here. Slip right there. Hit him with a leg kick, but he answers with a straight. Oh, he's he's two-piecing us, so we got to be careful. Hit him with another beautiful three-piece combination. Almost got a rock right there, too. Bang, bang. Rock him. Go down to the body. Woo! Threw a kick at an improper range. Luckily, he wasn't able to make us pay for it right there. There it is. Go back down to the body. Up, back up to the head. He tries to throw while he's still rock. Gets knocked down. Have him up against the fence with no head help. That's crazy. He didn't go out. Boom, boom, boom. Hit him with a good three-piece right there. Now we're in a fight any situation. We're going to get the dub here. No way he's getting out. And we get the finish with Michael Johnson. Woo. It was a clo another close fight. He was working us at the beginning of the round. But it was another great performance against another Max Holloway. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump into the third fight of the showcase. All right, guys, and here we are. We're in the third fight of the fire of the showcase, and we're going with Edson Barboza, and we're going up against the new champ, Charles Dubronx Oliveira. As you know, we're a four-star. He is a four-and-a-half star. We want to try to keep this fight off of the ground as much as possible because Charles Oliveira has some of the slickest ground game, one of the slickest ground games in UFC 4, and he fake glove touched me right there, so you know we got to give him the beat down now. We can't let this guy get out of here with a W. We're able to slip straight that jab right there. Trying to maintain the space as we do have the advantage on the feet. Trying to utilize the kicks, but he's blocked two of them. Hits us with a good crane kick right there. Tries to go with a flying knee. We're not having that. Hits us with a good knee elbow right there. Tries to go with the double uppercut. Goodness, man. Super. These are. This is a, the play of a spammer right here. This is, I didn't, uh, bro, I didn't know Edson Barbosa required spammers to beat him. But all right, we're going to get this W anyways. All right, trying to maintain the space. We're going to walk forward. Try to start walking him down. But he's going to utilize those knees and elbows. Try to hit him with the spinning back heel kick. But he closes the distance on us right there. We catch him with a good jab hook. He double jabbing us right there. All right, trying to maintain the space here. Try to hit him. Catches us with a flying knee right there off of the missed kick. Catch him right here with a good two-punch combination. Now, uh, we ain't bowing now. Trying to put in that work. It's fighting time. You fake glove touched me at the beginning. Tries to shoot for that takedown here. We're able to deny it. Try to put two knees in his belly, but he's not even trying to get out here. Goes with the knee. Goes with the knee again. Now, this, this is the style of play that people are saying is the hardest to deal with, which it really is. Uh, people that just want to knee and elbow spam you. It's it's ridiculously hard to deal with. Uh, which is kind of crappy, but we get a good rock right there. Off of a slip straight. Trying to maintain the space. 
Just looking for our opportunities to hit him with some good combinations. Like right there. See if he comes back with a jab. He doesn't. Goes with the leg kick. We leg kick him back. Hit him with the uppercut right there. Major lunge out of there. Bam. Get a good three punch in. Ooh, we're breaking that block. Slowly but surely, he misses that knee. Thank God. But now we're backing him up because he's got some solid damage off. And that knee and elbow, so he shoots for a takedown. He's going to be able to get that one here. That one's a tough takedown to try to stop. I'm going to roll into sprawl here. And let him hit our body just a little bit. And we're going to go down to half guard. Now we can't let him pass into our top mount. Or get us in side saddle because the arm triangle is one of the hardest submissions to get out of in the game right now. So we roll to sprawl. And we're just going to try to bite our time here. We're not going to let him get onto either one of our backsides here. Um, if he shoots for a guillotine, that's fine. We can get out of it. We have full stamina. We're not really wasting any of our energy here. We've got this round in the bag because of the damage that we've done. So we're just blocking everything here. And the round ends. Now, although he did a lot of damage with the knees to our body, we came back in the latter half of that round. So we want to keep the momentum going in the second round. Uh, he's been blocking the kicks. So we might need to need to switch from going from the leg kicks to the body kicks. Maybe throw a couple of uh, switch kicks into his into his belly, see how he reacts. And then maybe we'll be able to catch him with a front kick. But overall, it was a, it was a decent round one for us. But it's anybody's fight right now. So here we are. We're at the start of round two. We're not even going to try to touch gloves with him because the last time we did, he front, tried to front kick us. Flying knee right there. With a jab straight. Misses the kick. We make him punish with a straight. We punish him with a straight right there. Now there's the knee and elbow spam again. Catch the knee. Hit him with a hook on the release. Goes with the crane kick. That time. Hit him with a good body kick right there. Whew. Now we're unloading combinations in the pocket. We get the better of him with the jab hook right there. Now we're in a fight ending situation. We're throwing a hit. He takes our back off of the slip right there. We got to watch for the rear naked. And he's going for the arm bar. Wow. I would have thought he would have been going for the rear naked choke. So as you can see, Charles Oliveira's bar is really high. He's a jiu-jitsu ace. So we're going to try to get out of here. We don't have the best stamina, but looks like our bar is filling up very nicely here. Don't want to move too fast, but we don't want to stay at his range where he can get us. And looks like we're going to get out here. Even with half stamina to his almost full stamina, we are able to get out and we roll into his side control here. And we're going to go ahead and get up because we don't want any part of Charles Oliveira on the ground. That is not where this matchup favors us in. Try to hit him with a three-piece. Catch his knee right there. Goes double elbow. Ooh, hits us with a good hook because we try to lean away. Blast him with a good three-piece. Rock him. Knock him down. Oh, but we're learning. We're learning here, guys. We're not going to try to get in that scenario again. So we're going to try to get him, make him get up by hitting him with some leg kicks here. We're actually going to back up, and the ref's going to make him get up. So look at that head health. The head health is very, very low, and he's standing in southpaw, which is really... Oh, there he goes. He switched back to orthodox, but we rock him as soon as he does. Hit him with a good two-piece. Oh, we jump back down, but we are not going to get caught in that same scenario. We are going to get a beautiful KO in this matchup. No TKOs in this matchup at all. Bam! Hit him with a good spinny heel kick. And here we are. We're in another fight ending situation. I know I said I wasn't going to jump on him, but it's in full mount, and we get the W. Now, the only reason I jumped on him in that scenario was because we were in full mount, so even if he rolled us, we were just going to be in full guard. That was a crazy, crazy fight against the now champ. And it leads us into our next fight of the showcase. All right, guys, and here we are. We're in the fourth and final fight of the showcase, and we are using none other than my favorite fighter to use in UFC 4, Cub Swanson. And ironically, we're going up against Edson Barboza here, and this is going to be a five-round fight. So, man, we're going to try to maintain some pressure on Edson because we do not want to be fighting him out of range with these leg kicks try to touch gloves he's not having it so here we are we're in the face of Edson here trying to utilize the movement of Cub Swanson 
throw off a good calf kick, hit him with another one right there. And he's just moving around, trying to maintain the space, trying to trying to clinch this right here. He gets us in a, with a good pump clinch. He takes us down here, which is not Edson's strength. So that was kind of kind of caught me off guard. Straight off the rip here, but he's he's not throwing anything. He's not being inefficient with his stamina. He's hitting us with some good leg kicks. We got to block those. He blocks one of ours. Hits us with another good calf kick on the exit right there. Going very jab heavy. You maintaining the space very very well. So we're gonna need to try to faint our way in. Oh, he's using some weird head movement right there though. Cack him with a good three punch combination. Break his block. Get a good two punch combo in right there. Try to hit him with a four punch, but it barely even breaks his block. You want to try to catch him on a whiff kick if we can. All right, so we're on the lookout for that. Hit him on the with a leg kick on the exit right there. Ooh, good body kick. So here we're we're trying to be careful as we're in here with Edson because he can he can put it hit us with a a spinny heel kick that'll send us to Mars, yo. So we're trying to maintain the space. Our leg health is already low. That's very very unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. We got to deal with it now. Good body punch by him. He's not really leading off with too many kicks. Good feint to leg kick right there. Good calf kick. But we're kind of smothering the damage that's happening here because we're pressuring him. And he's not being able to stay hit us at the full range with his punt with his kicks. Oh, actually, it might be a three-rounder. I can't really see because the recording screens, uh, the recording numbers are in the way. So I can't really see if it's a three or a five-rounder. But either way, we're going to try to get him out of here within three. Good leg kick by him. Man, he's working the legs very, very nice right now. This might be a second account. This guy's fighting really well right now. I like his movement. I like the ranges that he's throwing all of his stuff at. Oh, he threw a kick at an improper range. He got the damage off, but we almost made him pay right there. Oh, look at the miner stepping. Hit him with a good body kick on the exit. Nope, he tried to switch kick us, but whiffs right there. Oh, blocks that leg kick. Trying to work. Oh, knee and elbow. Popping with a straight off of that whiffed leg kick. Whew. Oh, whiffed another one. All right. That was a close first round, but he did a lot of damage to our legs. So I would give him that first round, and he checked a lot of our kicks. So we can't be throwing too many more leg kicks. Uh, we got to be aware of when we're throwing them because he's doing a great, great job of, uh, of timing them out. So here in the second round, we're going to try to try to switch it up to the body just a little bit more and less on the legs. Here we're in the second round. This is a three-round fight. Hits us with a leg kick. Gets a leg rock right there. Hit him with a good two-punch combination. He's using all kinds of weird head movement again. Trying to break the block right there. We do. We get a beautiful knockdown right there. Knockdown for knockdown. And push him up against the cage here. We're going to try to go for the back sitting takedown, and we're able to get it here. Now, we're going to go for top mount. Uh, I don't use the rear naked choke, guys. Uh, it's, it's a little bit op in my book, so that's why I never go for it in that back sitting situation. So here, we're going to try to get some good solid ground and pound in here, which we are able to before he, post, he posts one of our hooks. He gets us into half guard. Go for side control, but he's wise to it and blocks it. He goes for his full guard, and now he gets it. Try to posture up here. Oh, he slips off that punch. Got some solid damage in. So now we need to work here on the ground. Uh, I believe their stats are pretty similar on the ground. So it should be a based off of the movements here of myself and the player that I'm playing against. Shouldn't Either one of us shouldn't have a, a really good advantage here on the ground. The ref stands us back up. Now we're ahead in the head health here. And in the body health, but the leg health is where he's doing a lot of his damage, which is how Edson would fight Cub in real life. So we need to be very careful here. Trying to put the pressure on him, turning up the heat. Hit him with a good two punch. Oop, he didn't go with a straight right there. Leg kicks us wisely right there. 
Not backing up, not taking a step back, trying to catch him, trying to break that block. There we go, get a good jab hook in. Oh, get a rock off with the straight. Hit him with the uppercut, kill him, knock him up against the cage here. And now we're in another fight ending scenario here. Let's see if we're able to get Edson out of here. And we are not. He wisely defends those hooks to the head right there. But we got 140 left, so this fight is... It's getting close to being done, but it's far from over. He tries to roll us into our full guard. We're not having any of that. We'll go for the top mount. We're able to get it. Punch to the head here. Try to gain GA, but he wisely transitions out of it. Go for the postured up half guard here. And we're able. Oh, we're almost able to get the finish right there. We're so close. His head health is, is down to almost nothing right here. He's blocking these hooks, though, and then he slips off the straight punch and rolls us with the Kimura sweep right there. See what he does here if he tries to get up and get up to the feet or if he tries to get in ground and pound of his own. He throws two punches and gets up. Hits us with a good leg kick, but luckily we were in southpaw, which is the leg that's not as damaged. There's you got 15 seconds left, which means he, he might try to throw something big. He might not. There he goes with the big kick, but we weren't able to punish it because it hit our block. And that is the end of the second round. We had him in all sorts of trouble in that second round. We knocked him down twice. We had him in a ground and pound scenario. He's able to avoid us getting him out of there. But here in the third round, we're going to go for the finish. We're going to go for the gusto here. He's not touching gloves. So here, we're trying to maintain the pressure, not trying to be at kicking range because he's done so much damage to us. Kicks us with a good calf kick right there. Hit him with a good two punch, breaking his block. Goes with a jab straight. Tries to go with a jab, but we slip straight him. Not really shooting out any more of those kicks, which is in our favor, but now we got to be aware of Edson's hands. Oh, we try to go with the head kick right there, but it hits his shoulder. Double jab into a straight. Woo! Tried to hit us with a flying knee, but we were out of range right there. Oh, good uppercut. Really should have rocked us, in my opinion. So here we have him back up against the fence here. Good slip. Good pull counter right there. Hits us with an uppercut right there as well. Good job by this guy. Trying to break the block here. Pull counters us with an uppercut again. Got to take our time. Got to slow down. Good knee. Rock him with a jab straight. Ooh, tries to go with the uppercut. Ooh, almost hit him with the front kick right there. Oh, good, good, good head kick, man. Good timing on that head kick. Slip that. Oh, I tried to, I tried to slip that off to the side, but wasn't able to get it in time. Oh, still blocking leg kicks, man. This dude is on it. Try to block break him right there, but that straight didn't do any damage, which is really weird. Now we are in an absolute war with Edson. Tries to go for the elbow, but we pop him off with a straight. Bam, knock him down. And another fight ending scenario here. And we get him out this time. We take him out with Cub Swanson. That was an absolute war, which is what really would happen in a fight with Cub Swanson and uh, Edson Barboza. But that guy completely gave us an absolute war. It was an absolute fun, probably the funnest fight of this video to be honest with you so here we're going to go ahead and check out the division points that we got from this win and we're going to i'm going to show you guys what division we are in now so we had 1400 points and now we are in division 12 so at the beginning of the video we we're in division 8 and now we are all the way up to division 12 and that's going to be the last fight of this video guys let me know in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button if you if you enjoyed the video as well and if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button it's much appreciated we are on the way to 1k i believe right now we're sitting at 946 but until the next video guys take it easy be safe and thank you guys for stopping by again